What's going on to you Sagittarius out there? So um, you have the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Hanged Man for you Sagittarius. So the, the Nine of Wands is about like finally being able to actually get over the the stage of walking away, the stage of having to um, put something to the side for the greater good. So a lot of you Sagittarius have been doing the internal work. And one of the things that you've learned how to put to the side is someone that you were really stuck on. You really had a real desire to be with them. But a lot of you Sagittarius come to the conclusion that, you know, they're not really good for you. And so if you uh, Sagittarius are going to consider yourself a good catch, you have to not even want these people, you know, because again, birds of a feather flock together. So if you find yourself desiring uh, dysfunctional people to the point where you will end up being in, re in relationships with them, you have to take accountability for that and be like, nah, you know, you're not going to be having those type of people around you at all if that's the case. Um, and a lot of you Sagittarius uh, are taking accountability. A lot of you are, like I said, you're learning how to change yourself for the better fundamentally from the ground up. A lot of you Sagittarius are realizing that you have to change a couple of things. Number one, you have to pay more attention to see what's going on. You have to pay attention to your surroundings and not let people just pull the wool over your eyes, right? And also the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, right? You, not only do you have to pay attention to your surroundings to see that those people are not trying to manipulate you, but you also, you um, Sagittarius also have to understand that you also have to be ready to walk away if those people, if anyone that you're getting to know is not really trying to take you seriously. If they, they if you know, you can't be just another option. They have to legitimately want to get to know you and yeah you know obviously everybody is an option to everybody else you know that's just something that we're going to have to take into consideration right and really come to terms with but what i'm trying to say here is they're not mistreating you you know they're not they're not treating you with disrespect they're not they're not trying to treat you like a fan you know what i mean like you're a groupie that's 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 only putting them up on a pedestal because they have delusions of grandeur of being with you. So, you know, being on that celebrity status. That's not how it is that you Sagittarius um, should really even take anyone seriously is if they're coming at you like you like they are a fan to you, right? Um, because eventually those people are gonna turn on you anyway because all of the uh, admiration that they had for you now you're right they gotta flip it on you that's just how it is so the lovers in the wheel of fortune and the seven of swords now represents how a lot of you sagittarius also have to understand that um the uh the sorry the lovers is about you being able it's about this is about you sagittarius being able to get out of the rat race and actually start be, being a person that you want to be and not just look having to look at yourself in the mirror and you know that you need to do a couple of things but you you don't want to do it because you Sagittarius feel like you can't walk away from this situation because those people got you trapped they got you trapped so now you're in a particular situation where you feel like you can't walk away from this because of the choices that you made. This is what I'm talking about. You Sagittarius are learning how to make better choices. You're learning that if something doesn't, if you, excuse me, can't look at yourself in a mirror every single day and feel proud of who you are and who you're becoming, then it means it's time for you Sagittarius to walk away because this is about you getting out of the rat race of your life, not just financially, but getting out. And then you have the Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Hierophant being Sagittarius and Taurus. So the Seven of Swords represent the, the slippery slope. You leaving the slippery slope of, you know, you, you think you got someone good and you feel like they got you trapped because 
on one hand, they're telling you that they care about you, but the way that they treat you physically is trash or vice versa. They, 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 they treat you like Mwah! chef's kiss. They treat you wonderfully. And then when they're ready to treat you terribly, they treat you like trash. They, they treat you terribly. They, they try to make you feel disempowered. They pull the rug from up underneath you. They try to break you down. No, a lot of you Sagittarius are going to listen. You're going to pay more attention to your surroundings. You Sagittarius are going to see if a person is not for you, you're not going to you're not going to try to force. You're not going to force it. You're not going to ignore certain things when you know that you should be staying away from them. Right. The person is telling you that they don't want you in, in their life. They treat you like trash. They treat you terribly. And then you Sagittarius still decide to stick around. You Sagittarius are actually going to leave them alone and just be like, you know what, since they feel that strongly, fine. You ain't got to be in their life. So now the the death card represents brand new, a brand new you. You Sagittarius um, are applying more of the knowledge that you're learning. And it you will see that it's already working now. But it's going to work even more in the future because you Sagittarius, like I said, you know, you're not going to take disrespect. You know, you'll be able to sniff out what disrespect looks like and you're not going to accept the disrespect, the, the disrespect for no reason. You know what I mean? So let's clarify the, the death card. You're not going to accept that. The Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Four of Swords, the Five of Wands, and then you have the Nine of Wands. So the uh, the Six of uh, Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles right here is about how you ultimately, right, you Sagittarius understand, look, relationships are a two-fold system. You have to actually want to give in order to get and vice versa you Sagittarius be willing to give but you get very little and all of that is changing it, it, it has changed and it's going to continue to change for, for to your liking to where you will receive more which will balance out what it is that you actually give right so it's not just you just giving but you don't get and then the then you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, and a lot of you Sagittarius are not are not afraid to actually speak up about what you want. That's another thing too, because you Sagittarius realize that closed mouths don't get fed. If you're not speaking up about it and being more brave, then you Sagittarius will get shortchanged, and people will just sit back and see if you're not actually going to say anything. And they'll continue to coast and treat you like whatever if you decide to keep your mouth shut about it. So then now, oh, and the Four of Swords represents you also leaving it alone when you see that they don't want to accommodate, right? The Five of Wands and the, uh, the Nine of Wands, you're going to have a lot of people upset because you Sagittarius can take it or leave it. You're not going to be running up behind them to sniff their butt. You're not going to be um, worrying about what they've got going on and how upset they get and all this other type of stuff. Sagittarius don't care about that. Because as far as you Sagittarius is concerned, you know, they have no business being super disrespectful in the first place. That's their problem. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. There's a link in the comment section below called the Linktree link. Click on it. It will redirect you to a website where there's all the ways to get a personal reading from me, um, from birth chart readings to role readings, as well as the books that I have there on Amazon. And if you, if you find that that's too complicated for you, if you want a personal reading, you can always feel free to contact me at Kareem Spirit Works, like the YouTube channel name, say, spelled the same, Kareem Spirit Works at yahoo.com.